Hi, YouTube family. We are going to be testing out some glow or shimmer powders that are finishing powders. Not a setting powder, but powders that are meant to either give you a nice glow or be able to give you just an ethereal look to your face where you're just softly glowing, ambient looks to them. That's using hourglasses word, but really ambient looks to them um, so that they can really enhance your glow. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking the red button below. I would love to have you here. Also, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help me get my videos out there. And yeah, let's get into it. So the reason that I wanted to do this is because I think there's a little bit of confusion as to whether we need a glow powder, whether we need illuminating powder, whether we need a setting powder, what do we need at that time? So here's the first thing I'm gonna tell you. What you need to set your makeup is just a setting powder. You're going for a look that is more matte and not shiny at all. You're gonna to wanna to use a setting powder and don't get anything that says satin, illuminating, glow, anything like that. Don't get any of those. So what I'm going through is what is in my collection that um, some of these are setting powders, but a lot of them are just finishing powders that you dust all over your face. And I'm gonna talk about two right now that I have that are luxury powders. This first one is the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I know that this one comes in a smaller size. Now I have the bigger size. When I first got this, I was a little bit disappointed because I felt like, you know what, this really, it doesn't really show to me anything, anything hugely different than any other powder I have. But then as I got to using it, I realized it really does brighten up. What's going to be bad about this video, you guys, is none of these powders are going to really show up a lot. So I'm just going to be talking about their properties, which is hard, but um, you'll kind of get the gist, gist of it, hopefully. It has a really nice delivery system in the hourglass one, so you're not getting all of the powder out. Um, um, it's kind of got a little stopper lid right here that helps it not all to come out. But I really like this for setting as far as giving just a nice tiny, tiny sheen. And when I say tiny, I mean it's more along the lines of it just lights up without having any sort of a satin finish even at all. So if you were to compare it to like paint, <laughs> which is weird. You know, you have flat paint and then you have eggshell and then you have satin and then you have semi-gloss. I would say that this is actually an eggshell. So you're setting it down, you're getting a little bit of a nice look to it without having too much of a sheen to it at all. The other one that I have that I really like, and I know this one is a luxury item and it's super expensive. My husband bought this for me a couple of years ago, but I still use it and I still love it. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Powders. It comes with four different compartments in here and they have all different colors. So you kind of pick what works for you. Like if you're looking for something that is going to take down redness, they do have ones that have greens in them, blues in them. And then if you're looking for ones that are brightening, that's kind of what I picked on, on this one and I'll list what which one I have below. But this one does have that subtle sheen in it. It has that look of brightening with just the tiniest amount. And again, you're not going to be able to see this. It has just the tiniest amount of sheen in it. This is so fine. So is the hourglass one super finely milled. But the Givenchy one, it really does have that prismatic color to it without having any glow to your skin. Just a really beautiful, almost like a color correcting look to it. So that is one that I would recommend. The next one that I have is the Hourglass palette that came out. And I think this is one called the Ambient 4 or something like that. So ignore these right here. These two down here, these are the ambient lighting powders. They're so beautiful. Now, when you get into these for the higher end, they are a little bit more along the lines of, of getting that satin finish to them. So you are going to have a little bit more glow when you get into this area with them. And you can pick oh, from a whole bunch of colors. So on those, you have dim light, diffused light, and then this one is luminous light. So the colors, you can choose from all different colors that you want to. The first one was kind of more along the lines of a whiter color. And then you had a champagne color. And then up at the top, you're having more along the lines, kind of a soft gold color on that. So these are ones that I highly recommend just because they are, 
They are that level of being able to dust it across your face and get you a really beautiful look without having any shimmer, any shine to it at all. Now, when the Laura Mercier um, one came out, the, her glow powder came out, I was really excited about this. Now, you're, you are going to be able to see this because this glow powder has absolutely, definitely, 100% has a glow to it. And you're going to see that right away. So see that glow on there? There is a definite sheen to it. I would say that this is more along the lines of a semi-gloss. This is not one that you would want to dust all over your face unless you're going for a really dewy, glowy look, which is fine. But I actually will dust this across my cheeks and a little bit across my forehead and my chin. Not an all over look, just a little bit of a dusting. It is very much like her setting powder. So if you've had her setting powder and you like it, you will love the consistency of this. But on the days that you don't want to look really glowy, be very careful with this one and just hit maybe the high points of your face. One of the ones that I did get asked about not too long ago is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. This is again in the mini size or the trial size. Um, this lasts me forever. I think this one is a little bit more finely milled than the Laura Mercier. And you can see it there, it's on top of the glow. So it definitely has that illuminating property again, but not as much as the glow. If you can see the two comparison right there, not nearly as much. So if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for something that is gonna be illuminating like this, but not really on the shine level, I would say go with the Flower Beauty Satin Powder. This is a beautiful powder. Now, I will say that it does have a tiny bit of color. Actually, this is what bothers me about this one. Um, even though I absolutely love it, but I think the packaging was overdone. It's nice, it's pretty, it would be fun to have on your vanity, but the packaging was overdone because obviously you're only getting like this much in there. And then the, the stopper is about that far down. So you're not getting that much product. I guess maybe they just wanted to make you think you were, I don't know. So I dip this into my lid here. And as you can see in the lid, it is more along the lines of a creamy peach color. Not, I shouldn't say peach. It's just along the lines of a creamy color. And it is very, very much like the Cover FX powder that we just looked at. This is probably my favorite powder that we're gonna talk about today. And it's because you can't make a mistake with it. Even if you put this on and you had it all over your face and you just set your makeup with it, you still would look really just ethereal looking. You just would look not like you're glowing, but like you're healthy. I guess that's the good a good word for it. Um, so this one, you guys, I really have been impressed by it. Uber finely milled. I would say that it is up there along with the Cover FX one. It's more finely milled than the Hourglass one. So if you guys are looking for one and you're going, okay, I've heard so many things about Hourglass, I would say this satin finishing powder, oh my gosh, so, so good. I wanted to throw in this Total Face Palette from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I wanted to throw this in here because if you took these colors and you swirled them together, which is what I'm gonna do right now, you actually come out with just a really pretty color to dust all over your face with. This would be more along the lines of that peach look that I was talking about a little bit. These are all very satiny colors, and then you do have one that is considered a highlight. However, I really don't even consider it a highlight. It doesn't glow at all, but these, to me, are along the lines of the Hourglass. So if you've just been dying to have one of the Hourglass palettes, I would say go ahead and try the e.l.f. palette because it is very close to it. It's that soft feel to it, the very dimly looked feel to it. Okay, the Pacifica just came out with one. This is their illuminating powder. It's called Crystal Ray's Luminous Transit. Let's try that again. Pacifica Crystal Rays Luminous Translucent Setting Powder. All right, you guys, this one is kind of fun and this is very illuminating. I do like the delivery system on this. It has a complete stopper in it that you actually just pull up and it's attached, so that's good. And it does have this sieve down there or that little mesh down there, so it's not gonna you know, let a lot of it out. And when I just stuck my finger in there, I don't know if you guys just saw it puff, but it's really, really fine, again. Um, and 
everything that I'm bringing you today are ones that I just really have been impressed with and I really like. So I'm not sure if you can see this or not. Up here is the one we just swatched from e.l.f. And then right here is the one that we just swatched from Pacifica. This one really does have that little bit of a sheen to it. It's very brightening while being very softening at the same time. Now, if any of you don't know this, Pacifica is a clean company and they are 100% vegan. So if any of you are looking for something like that, then yeah, you would really enjoy this. Yes. Quite a while ago, Milani came out with their Radiant Loose Setting Powder. This one does have a glow to it, you guys. And it also does have teeny tiny, and I'm not saying hardly any, but teeny tiny little reflex in it. Um, and you, you can't see them. It's not like it's glitter or anything like that. It's actually more along the lines of almost crushed pearl look to it. Um, and you can probably see it right here. So... I really like this one for that glow that we were talking about. This one reminds me very much of the Laura Mercier glow one. It's a different color than that. That one has more of a golden tone. This one has more of a peach tone to it. But if you're looking for something, instead of wanting to make that big, you know, jump into the Laura Mercier one, even this size right here, I think is like $23. And this pan right here, I don't remember. I want to say it's around 10. So I do really like it. And I think that if you really liked the look of the Laura Mercier one earlier, that that is the one that you should probably go for. Elf also has a soft luminous powder. This one I would say is more along the lines of the consistency of that hourglass one. You're going to be able to set with this, but just know that if you got too much of it on, you would end up getting too much of a glow on. So I would say be really careful with that one. But at the same time, if you just like that soft luminous, look that's diffused light. This is a great one too and a great price point. The It Bye Bye Pores Illuminating Powder. This one is definitely an illuminating powder almost to the point of being along the lines of a highlighter. Really finely milled, feels really good on the finger as I am dipping into there and here it is right there swatched. This one has that definite glow to it. So if you guys are looking for something that has that glow to it just to be the final step, this one is absolutely beautiful and it's every bit as nice of a powder as all of those other ones that it has. It's just a really beautiful, finely milled one. Um, I probably wouldn't, you know, this one says bye-bye pores. I definitely wouldn't be putting it on my pores. I know that. But as far as, you know, just dusting out the edges where you want that soft look, the little bit of glow, this one is really pretty. This one is the Lancome Absolute Powder in Absolute Golden. I bought this quite a while ago, way back. Jaclyn Hill was talking about how much she loved this powder. And um, I went in and I splurged and I got it because it really looked like such a gorgeous powder. Now this one is more along, when it says golden, don't be afraid of that, um, no matter what your coloring is, because it really goes well with just about anybody's. It looks very, I just lost a drop of it. <laughs> It looks very peach in here, very pinky in here, but I find that no matter who I try this powder on, it looks pretty. To me, it can just about go with any skin type. And I'm really kind of laying it on for you guys, but this one is one of those ones that has a definite sheen to it, a definite glow to it, just so you guys know. And this one does have just the teeniest amount of the little um, glowing, like pearly, whatever they are in there. I do not want to classify those as glitter particles. It's nothing like that. It's something else that they have milled in here that just gives it a super warm, beautiful glow to it. So let's just kind of recap. These ones right here, Pacifica, Bye Bye Pores, Illuminating from It Cosmetics, Laura, actually, you know what, you guys? The Laura Mercier Glow Powder is the one that I would use almost as a highlighter, just so you guys know. So this one right here, I would say is probably the glowiest of them all. Then the Lancome, then the Illuminating from um, It Cosmetics, and then the Pacifica. I would say first start out with the Flower Satin Powder. And even though it's drugstore, you guys, it performs fantastic. I love this powder. I used it to set my face today. I had on a really matte looking foundation and I wanted to liven it up. So I used this as a setting powder and it just did the job just beautifully. And then if I had my choice as being the ones that do the dewy glowy look, I would say the Lancome Absolute Powder is so good. But if you couldn't afford this price tag for the Lancome one, the Milani one is every bit as nice 
nice and beautiful as it. So that is all the powders that I have that are like along the lines of illuminating, dewy, glowy powders. And I love all of these. I use all of these powders all the time. When I was doing this video and I got them all together, I thought, I need to start using this one more. Oh, I need to start using this one more. So there were so many of them that I was like, oh, I had forgotten how great these are. And there's a lot of them that are hitting the market right now, especially even in drugstore. There's some gorgeous ones. Let me know in the comments section if any of you guys have found an illuminating powder that you absolutely fell in love with. I would love to know that because I'm always looking for different products. That's it, you guys, for today's video. If you did like it, please give it that thumbs up that I asked for. I would really appreciate it. I love you guys so very much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye, you guys.